2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazine test or in short 2,4-DNP test is done to test for the presence of ketone and aldehyde functional groups. When you add 2,4-DNP reagent which is a yellow brown liquid to a compound that has a ketone functional group or an aldehyde functional group you get a precipitate which ranges in color from yellow to red if that is the compound has a ketone or an aldehyde functional group by forming an addition product if the compound is neither a ketone nor an aldehyde then we will not observe yellow to orange or red colored precipitate. So let us see what happens when we test some of the compounds that I have here with 2,4 DNP reagent. So first you want to take 1 milliliter of 95% ethanol in a test tube. To this, you want to add 5 drops of the test compound if the testing compound is a liquid or a spatula tip full if you are testing a solid. I am going to first test acetone which is a liquid which is a ketone as the name O-N-E indicates. So I am going to add 5 drops of this test compound that is acetone to the test tube containing 1 ml of 95% ethanol. To this solution of acetone in 95% ethanol, I am going to add 1 ml of 2,4 DNP. mix the contents well and notice what happened. We got a nice yellow precipitate. This is how 2,4 DNP reagent looked and this is what happened after adding the reagent to acetone which is a ketone. We got a yellow precipitate indicating that the compound I tested is either a ketone or an aldehyde but we know we tested acetone which is a ketone and so this is the positive test result. So I'm going to test next methanol. As the name indicates methanol is an alcohol so we expect the test result to be negative but let us see what happens. So first we want to add 1 ml of 95% ethanol to the test tube and then 5 drops of our test compound methanol to the same test tube so I took methanol which is an alcohol and now we are going to add 1 ml of, of 2,4 DNP mix it well and see what happens This is my 2,4 DNP reagent. This is the 2,4 DNP plus methanol. As you notice that there isn't any change. We did not get an yellow or an orange or a red precipitate in this test tube indicating that the compound I tested is neither a ketone 
not an aldehyde and it indeed is so because we tested methanol so methanol being an alcohol is not supposed to give a positive test result as did acetone which gave us a beautiful yellow precipitate this is a positive test result which acetone gave this is a negative test result which methanol gave sometimes the reaction can be slow if the compound is hindered we may have to push this reaction by heating it so in that situation when you observe a negative test result you want to make make certain that the result is indeed negative how do you do that you want to heat the test tube for a few minutes in a steam bath so let us turn the steam bath on and using a test tube holder heat the contents of the test tube and once you have finished heating it for a few minutes you want to take this out and place it in the ice bath and see if any precipitate forms at all also whenever you are heating make sure that you take out the test tube from the steam bath once in a while and shake the contents put it back continue to heat and now let us turn the steam bath off cool the contents of the test tube in an ice bath and see if we get any precipitate after a few minutes now that we have cooled this test tube in ice for a few minutes let us take it out and see if we got any precipitate still no precipitate what we did was we added all the reagents to the test tube we heated it in the steam bath for a minute or two then cooled it in ice but still we did not get any precipitate thus confirming the negative test result so what was the compound that we tested for this one it was methanol which is an alcohol which should not give a positive test result and indeed we do not see a positive test result the positive test result we saw was for acetone which is a ketone we got yellow precipitate negative for alcohol no precipitate so this is how 24 dnp test helps us to see if the compound is either a ketone or an aldehyde or not